Shalom, Shalom, Koholoyim, Mayahawa, Bahasha, Yahawa Shai, Bahasha, Makakadash, Double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone, Ruel, Shalom, Makasah, Lahabakia, peace and mercy to the elect. I'm your fellow servant of Yadia, I represent the GMS Church in Cleveland, back in the spirit. I hope and I pray this is a fine lesson. <clears throat> Um, I'm trying to see which direction I want to go with this particular article because obviously it's sensitive, particular words, you may say, um, you know, the algorithm that's associated with YouTube, they want to stop this truth anyway. You know, they don't want to bring out this particular information. Ain't no white people. You all used to call white people, right? Your biblical nationality, you're the Edomites, okay, pursuant to the scripture. And pursuant to the scripture, the Heavenly Father hates you, Edomite. Malachi 1. Um, Jacob have I loved, and Esau have I hated. You see? Esau is the progenitor of you so called white people. Right? When you go into the scriptures, you won't see the word, you won't see white people in the scripture. You ain't gonna see black people, African Americans, you ain't gonna see Chinese, Jap. The Heavenly Father created 18 nations. Pursuant to the scriptures. Ha is the in the Hebrew. Um, and then I want to say, I forget how to say the word 18. I want to say Aisha Ra Sh Shamuana. I believe that's Aisha Ra is, um, is, is and Shamuana is 8. Aisha Ra is 10. So 8 plus 10 is 18. Ha Goyam. I believe that's how you say it in the Hebrew. The ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lasha one Chodash. So the Heavenly Father created 18 nations pursuant to the scriptures. You ain't going to see white people. You ain't going to see Africans. You ain't going to see Chinese, Japanese. You ain't going to see Hawaiian. You ain't going to see East Indian. You ain't going to see Arabs. You see? And then this whole white people, right? The O, the Elder Malcolm, he brought out the information. Um... With the with the two, you had the one chick. Her name was Robin D'Angelo, right? I believe she wrote the book *Birth of a Right Nation*. Then you got Jacqueline Bettalora. I feel, I, feel, I believe she wrote the book *White Fragility* and the beloved of Elder Malcolm. He brought out that information. All right. So why is this individual in this article using the phrase "white people" when there's no such things? White people never existed. They came into existence in 1680 in Virginia after the Bacon's Rebellion. You see? Because black and white, it's a social construct that these so-called white people created to control the narrative, man. You see? Which that shit is completely false. In which they understand the meanings of words, the etymology of words, okay? So they understand white and they they like to associate the word white with themselves, which in all actuality, I said it on multiple occasions, and a brother can correct me if I'm wrong, but we the real so-called white people. You go into the word white, just like on the movie, um, the autobiography of Malcolm X, right? That was played by Denzel Washington, and it was directed by uh, Spike Lee, which that's a... In my honest opinion, that's a Oscar-worthy movie. You see, the performance in particular with Denzel Washington, him portraying Red, uh, uh, not Red Fox. Um, well, that was uh, that was that was uh, Malcolm X's nickname, actually. His name was Red. That's what he called him in the movie in particular. I mean, you know, if if, if Jake remember the movie, that's what Spike Lee, which his name was Shorty, that's what he referred to Malcolm X as Red. You see, which that's a a a old a old to his complexion. You see, just like our forefather King Lady David Ruddy. You know, um, and he wasn't red like you so-called white people, right? Because Esau, it goes back to the Hebrew word Ishashwa, Ay right? Which Esau is Edom, and Edom in the Hebrew is Adawam, which means red. Because you're all the real red people. That's why they refer to themselves as rednecks. You see? So, when they refer to Jake, 
or you know in particular Judah down all the way down to Issachar because they even refer to Issachar as um what do they call them ah shit I forget that they call them um shit um well yeah uh, it, it, it's, it's um some word that I'm thinking of so lucky it's escaping me right now um but when you refer to Israel as you know like a red bone you see a woman that's a red bone she's not necessarily the complexion of Esau because Esau he's translucent his blood shows forth through his skin you see he has no pigmentation so when you refer to our people as red bone that's because they had those reddish hues right you see um so it says you see, you see what it says a, a law and crime which <laughs> What's the law? Well, 1953, I believe it was President Ronald Reagan, if I'm not mistaken. He basically deemed that the year of the Bible. You see? Um, in fact, um, let me see. Let me, let me look it up right quick. Cause this the real law. Oh, it's 1983. So like I said, 1953. Proclamation 5018. You hear the Bible, 1983. The American presidency. The the plain spoken Andrew Jackson referred to the Bible as no less than the rock on which our republic rests. So you got law and crime. Because right in order to judge this particular crime or this offense you have to go to the law statute commandments of the scriptures not the law of you know not not the law like the constitution and the um the, the, the declaration of independence and the, 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 the you know the federal law and the state laws no you're supposed to go to the laws of the scriptures you see now in all actualities just jake he would be completely justified if you go to the scriptures because pursuant to the scriptures, the Heavenly Father said the rest of the people were like spittle. You see, meaning what? They insignificant unto the Heavenly Father. The only people that mean something to the Heavenly Father in particular, Israel in particular, started with the elect. But this dude, Stephen Hutchinson, he's Israelite. You know, he's Israelite. You see, so even though the Heavenly Father is not dealing with two thirds of you Negroes, Latinos, Native Seminole Indians as of yet, in the near future, the Heavenly Father gonna be dealing with our people on a, as as a whole. You see, you see. So it says, let me read down some. Stephen Hutchinson, thirty six, which he's a young man, thirty six. That's a young age. You see. I always refer to our forefather Methuselah, you see, who lived to be approximately 900 and I forget, some odd years old. So 36, that's like a drop in the bucket. And that's what the Heavenly Father used. And that 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 scripture he had in relation to you, you heathens in particular. First and foremost, you heathenites, man, because scripture say you the lords of the heathens, man. You see? So that's y'all biblical nationality, y'all Edomites, man. You know, and the Heavenly Father said, Jacob, have I loved it? Esau, have I hated it? Esau is the progenitor of you so-called white people. Esau is Edom, other one. See? Ro Ro Rothschild, which goes back to the word Roshil from the um, beloved elder Apostle Gabor, which means red child. You see? Or or. It was rough. Yeah, red shield, if I'm not mistaken. Red shield or red child. Okay? So it says, you see what it says? I'm like I'm saying, I'm not going to read that because they're going to give me a strike. You see? I guarantee they give me a strike if I say white people in association with the word D E A D. Well, guess what? That's the will of the Heavenly Father, right? And this Jake was in the spirit, see, right? Because the Heavenly Father, he put the spirit on certain Jakes to say things, say particular things for particular reasons, right? Which this is all scriptures, right? Which you can, the word white in this society 
well, well, and his truth is interchangeable with the word Edom, right? Or Esau. And this is a scripture. I want all the Edomite people unalive. I'll just, you know, um, say other words, right? But that's the scripture, right? Pursuant to what? Obadiah 1 and verse 18, I believe it is. So I'm going to go to that and I'm going to close out. But they put these particular articles like this out to try to demonize um, the Achim in particular. Right, because that's the same sentiment that we have in relations to all you Edomites, man. You see? And that's the same sentiments that the Heavenly Father had. And pursuant to the scriptures, they say they make a man an offender for a word, right? You see? So when they, they would have bring up charges against you for what you say. You know? But guess what, man? Over by one eighteen. Right, because you see it, it says, I want all the W H I T E people D E A D. Right? Now let's read the book of Obadiah, right? Um verse verse one, the vision of Obadiah. It says, Thus saith the Lord power concerning Edom. So this particular book, all right, is dealing with Esau Edom, right? And not the individual Esau, but is dealing with the nation of Edom. That's how the Heavenly Father deal. He don't deal with individuals. He deal with nations. You see, look at the nation of Israel in particular. It was certain individuals that broke the wide in the Heavenly Father. You know, he deal with nations. We say we have heard a rumor. A rumor is a report from the Lord. An ambassador is sent among the heathen. The ambassador is going into like a hell road, right? Um, Araji, let us rise up against her in battle, right? And that's the spirit because the heavenly father going to put the spirit on all the heathens, man. You see? To what? To come up against Esau, Edom. You see? Why? Because it's prophesied, you see? That's the will of the heavenly father, man. So it says, jumping down to verse 18, it's the point. Um, in, in, um, in accordance to what that Jake said, right? Um, over to our one and 14, 15, it said for the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen, right? The heathens consist of all the other nations outside of the nation of Israel, right? Esau, Edom, um, Ammon, Moab. Which we can pronounce it in the Hebrew as well. You got um, Ishmael, Yashamai Allah, which means he has heard of the power. You got Moab, Mawa Abba, right? You got uh, Magog, Mahawak, if I'm not mistaken. Kush, um, Kush is a Khwash, Put, Pawat. So that's just a couple of the heathens to name a few. And you see? Right, and the time is ahead where all the heathens about to get judged collectively, man, for all for the controversy of Zion, pursuant to the scriptures, Isaiah the thirty fourth chapter, man. All right, as thou hast done, right? What did the heathen do to the Israelites? The apple of the Lord's eye, right? They rounded us up, which it was all the will of the heavenly Father. You see what I'm saying? But this is the will of the heavenly Father too, right? That we recompense. Pursuant to the book of, uh, it was it was it's in Thessalonians. The Apostle Paul said this to the church of Thessalonica. Recapit tribulation that um, that roughly paraphrasing. Okay, so it says, "As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee." Right, which I have known. I forget the, the Assyrians. I believe in the Hebrew. I want to say is Asher War. If I'm not mistaken, but we're going to the Assyrian captivity. I'm thinking of that in particular because I descend from the northern kingdom, Reubenite, the Reuben, uh, Ra'awaban. I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's Ra'aban, Ra'aban or Ra'awaban, right? Which means, um, uh, what does my name mean? I'm going off. <laughs> I'm getting sloppy. <laughs> um, but the reason I mentioned the Assyrian Empire because I know some of the atrocities that was committed against the Northern Kingdom in particular, right? With the with the flaying, 
You see, because I watch Game of Thrones and I can watch Game of Thrones. So they familiar with um, are the Boltons. All right. Ramsey Bolton. Right. The flayed man. You see, which that's what the Assyrians used to do to the northern kingdom. You see, and that's why. You know, the Gadites in particular, as well as the Reubenites and the rest of the northern kingdoms, when they came over here to the Americas and then you had the so-called white man follow them. Pursuant to the prophecies, which he was led here by St. Elmo's Fire. You can look this book up, um, Wonders in the Sky. And they mentioned the St. Elmo's Fire that led Christopher, which is his name is, um, which he's a Spaniard. His name is Cristobal Colon. Okay. Um, but I mentioned the Assyrian Empire because the scripture says, as thou hast done. It shall be done unto thee. So, right. So, what did they do to the northern kingdom? They was flaying us alive. And that's just one of several examples that I could give you, all right, of what these heathens have done to us in particular. And I'm saying they're serious because I don't always want to mention these Edomites because, of course, our main focus is Esau, Edom, right? But it, but we have our, our, our you know, um, uh, you, you, we have, you know, it's a target on the back of the rest of the heathens as well, right? So it says, thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. Verse 16, for as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, right? Meaning what? Who is the holy mountain of the heavenly father? Zechariah 8 and 3. One, two, it's a locket. Right? So the mountain of the heavenly father I'm dealing with a lot, so like you know, um, this is matter of fact, I want to see what it say in the GMT. Um, I just want to see what it say in verse 16 in particular, right? And I'm gonna wrap it up, so like you know, I'm trying to make this too long. Um, <coughs> excuse me, right? And this scripture speaks volumes. Right, in relations to what that Jake said, man, you know, he said he want all the he want all the Edomites on alive, man, and I can relate to that. You see, because when all the and and, and that's the scripture. I'm gonna read it. Matter of fact, there ain't gonna be none remaining of the house of Esau for the Lord has spoken it. So this the will of the heavenly Father, man. So anybody that got a problem with that, to hell with you. You see. You can you 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 can you can let the you know you can let the the do dog hit you with a good law splinter type shit like you hear me. Um God will judge the nations. That's what it say. Um when you look at it in the GNT from the 15th verse on down, it says God will judge the nations, right? Um verse 16 it said, My people have drunk a bitter cup of punishment. Right, and that bitter cup of punishment came in the form of slavery. See? Us being separated from our women and our children. See? Us being conditioned to, you know, um, to love our oppressors. Right? It said, but all the surrounding nations will drink a still, so like it, and all the nation, surrounding nations will drink a still more bitter cup of punishment, meaning what? Y'all gonna Catch more hell than we ever did, you heathens in particular, you Edomites, man. It said they would drink it all and vanish away, right? So it says, for as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yeah, they shall drink and they shall swallow down and they shall be as though they had not been. Verse 17, but upon Mount Zion I shall be deliverance. But that's who the heavenly father coming back for. Mount Zion. Zion is another name for Israel, which means in the Hebrew to Zion, which means a monument or a memorial. So we like the vicars of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. We're the earthly representatives of the Heavenly Father. So the Heavenly Father is coming back to deliver one third of the nation of Israel. One third of Zion. You see, not he's not delivering Zion as a whole because two thirds of our people, they refuse to receive correction. You see, just like those um, unbelieving Thessalonian Jews, right? During the time of Paul and, you know, the church, and uh, you know, Macedonia and Achaia, right? It says, um, 
Yeah, they shall drink and they shall swallow down. Oh, no, Salak, I'm reverse 17. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. And there shall be holiness, right? Because it's going to be a separation. You better believe it's going to be a separation. How is the Heavenly Father going to do? Well, the Lord said he going to... Um, um, I said, what's what I'm thinking of, man? Uh, shit. He said that he was going to... Um, uh, so let me keep going. Um, it says, And the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. It said, verse 18, the point, and the house of Jacob shall be a flame, a fire, which the house of Jacob represents the southern kingdom, right? Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, right? It says, and the house of Joseph, a flame, the house of Joseph represents the northern kingdom, Ephraim down to Issachar, and the respective tribes in between, Reuben, um, Gad, Manasseh, Zebulon, Naphtali, right? Manasseh, it says, um... And the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it right. So just like this Jake was going into in this article right here, man. He said he want all of Whitey unalive, man. You see? And that's pursuing to the scriptures, man. You know, so with that, I pray this is edifying. I give all glory and then praises. Double honors to the apostles. That was a great millstone. Shalom. Shalom.